Hello to you, Infinite Spiral here, and I have not yet rendered any of my dark videos, but I get the feeling that they're not going to be very visible, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this to daytime, just so things are more easy to see, because, you know, nobody wants to watch a video they can't see, that's worthless. So, let's just do this real quick, get some fast time warp going. Yeah, time moving at a thousand speed. And that should bring us to sunrise. Roughly. Yes, indeed it has. Okay. You know what, let's... Let's even go a little bit further than that. That's better. Now we won't have the sun glaring in our face. I like that. So, last time we left off, we had unlocked some new science. Yeah, we bought this uh, science tech upgrade, and that gave us our science junior, as well as some things we haven't used, the rechargeable batteries and another comma ray. But the uh, science junior has been very useful for gathering more and more science. It returns considerably more than the mystery goo pods. We also got flight control. That gave us our uh, inline reaction wheel, a small one. We haven't used these other parts yet, but we will eventually, but that reaction wheel has been great for increasing our ability to control this, the, uh, the rockets as we're flying. And we, the last one we did was general construction, and that gives us struts and launch stability enhancers, which are big cranes for holding your ship in place while you're launching, as well as uh, a tricouple adapter and a radial decoupler that's a little bit further, it, it extends outward from the body so that you can fit more stuff in places where it's kind of cramped. And uh, yeah, the tricoupler, that's that's nifty for splitting, you know, one central tube into three beneath. That's, again, something we'll get into later. Um, last time I used that, it was another one of those weak connection point par uh, parts. So if you were too heavy on it, it things would shake and fall apart which was not great but advanced rocketry is definitely the next one we're gonna do though I don't know if I'll even use either of these in the long run but in the meantime we've still got two more uh, visual survey contracts going so we need to complete those and after that I don't know if any more will show up or if it's just gonna be a bunch of tests that we need to do but that is just fine because doing all of those should give us a decent amount of money and soon enough we will actually be able to upgrade our uh, we will actually be able to upgrade our vehicle assembly building which will be fantastic because then things will get real interesting when we're launching very large and comp complicated rockets 255 maximum parts that's fantastic I actually have never used action groups um, I'm under the impression that they're massively useful, so I'm definitely going to have to familiarize myself with those. But for now, let us launch our Not a Turd Mark III and go and complete those visual surveys. Okay, so we got to get ourselves over to Lars's cluster again. We have failed this one a few times already, and it's not always pretty. I just noticed that this my parachutes are off center. I don't like that. That kind of bothers me. I'll have to fix that in the next iteration, perhaps. Provided that uh, we keep this thing in our design structure at all. We may not even do that. We might just be designing a completely new rocket after this. This target is more difficult than I would expect to hit. Mostly because it's closer to the equator than any of the other places I've had to go yet. So, figuring in the uh, the rotation, it rotates faster around the planet. Or, not around the planet, but the planet's equator rotates faster than uh, the northern areas. Or the southern areas, for that matter. Yeah. Equator has the fastest rotation on the planet. So accounting for that is a little more difficult when you're not used to doing so sort of snuck up on me. 
But what are we looking at? That is just about good. Okay. We may even have to do a retro burn once we get up a little higher. Because we're probably going to overshoot on this trajectory. Because we're about to exit. Yeah, we've already exited most of the atmosphere, so we're not getting very much decay in our trajectory here. And it looks like... Yeah, we're going to correct for this at the apoapsis because it's actually going to travel past our trajectory while we're heading towards it. So, oh, other direction. No, not other direction. Shit. It was this direction that we need. Okay. So, let us... Son of a bitch, it was the other direction. <laughs> Why am I such a fool? Yeah, that's better. And keep a little bit of fuel on us so that we can still do a retro burn. And we're going to start that real soon here. Yeah, we're going to have to correct even a little bit more while we're getting into our retro burn, so... Let's get closer to that. That'll give us a bit more correction, and then now we'll go full retro burn. Uh, we're as close to it as we can get. And we're about to be out of fuel. Reserve a little bit, and ooh, that's looking really good. Oh, we're in it. Okay. And we're way too high. Way too high. Okay, full retro burn, and we're almost out of fuel. Shit. Oh my god, we're not enough atmosphere to drop. This is ugly. We're going to leave it. We're going to miss again. Well, this was a decent attempt. We caught more of our problems early enough to correct for them. But yeah, that's still not beautiful. <laughs> Shit. And leaving the cluster. Indeed. We might have actually been able to get that if I'd been Johnny on the spot, which I was not. Yeah, I did a rhyme. Well, I will rejoin you the next time that we're near to the objective, because the reset takes a little while, as I'm sure you know. Every fucking time. I tried to tip over early enough that it wouldn't have as much force, but... Yeah, I should see about situating that closer to the base. That might help. Ah, but then it'd be in the way of the fucking fuel tanks. Ah! Oh well. Alright, you know what? We're gonna make a couple of quick uh, little fixes to this. First, we're gonna center that, because it's been bugging the hell out of me. I don't like it. <laughs> Next, we're going to put some struts attaching that science pod onto both the fuel tanks and the command pod. But I didn't want two-way symmetry. I wanted three-way symmetry. Thank you. And let's zoom in, make sure those are connected. Yes, they are. Beautiful. And then we do the same thing right here. And that was a bit of a failure. These struts are kind of wonky to work with. You have to get things just right, and sometimes they don't want to cooperate with you fully, so you have to fuss about with them a bit. Okay, well, seems like the only way I can get these things to attach is by putting them on the science pods. Damn it. So, I guess that'll work. I don't know, I don't feel like they're centered enough, so... Let's just start a new. I wish I could zoom in even further, but this is as close as you can get, so... About there. 
All right. Well, maybe that'll stabilize both those and the science pods together. If it works out, there's no harm. I just now noticed when you look all the way down, all of the lines painted on the ground disappear. Anyway. So, that's all been fixed. Parts are still good, weight is still good. I should stop saying weight because it's mass. Mass is still good. And we'll name this the Not A Turd Mark 3.5. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Oh my goodness, something just occurred to me. Even with the part count where it is, the launch pad might be what we have to upgrade in order to have a higher maximum weight, maximum mass. I'm going to head back to the main menu and check that out real quick. Oh, crap. And it is weight. Yeah, because we're on planet. Okay, well... Well, actually, we can afford that upgrade right now. And that lets us get a lot further, both in size and weight, so... Interesting. We'll do that when we get back. Cancel. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that when we get back. Let's just go ahead and make this launch. Because this ship is definitely suited to the task. It's just my ineffectual efforts that are keeping us from accomplishing this contract. Yeah, that's a lot better. Not those parachutes. Oh! Fuck, it's not better at all, it's terrible. The fucking symmetry got turned off. I've only got one radial parachute now. Shit. Oh well. Hopefully it works. <laughs> this is not gonna be pretty. I just have a feeling about that. realized I was navigating to the wrong side of that trajectory. To the wrong side of the target. We have to lead it, not trail it. Oh god. While we were futzing about with our corrections, we failed to notice just how high up we were heading. Way, way, way too high up. This is another failed attempt in the making. I believe we've probably already failed. Drop down to 85. About to run out of fuel. And we're out of fuel. And we cut it way too short. Super smooth. Good going. All on me. And that's why it's best to stay on this map. It's best to stay on this screen when you're making those kinds of maneuver. When you're making those kind of course correction maneuvers, because... Fuck! I screwed myself. In the worst way. Okay, well... Be with you momentarily. Alright, now let's find out just how well those struts prop up the... Uh, the Science Junior. And also this single radial parachute seems to be doing just fine. Although we are going a little faster than I'd like. But I don't think it's fast enough to break everything with explosions. Okay, looks good. And it fucking exploded. It must just have a really, a really low crash tolerance. Because it just disappeared. It didn't even pop out. So that's ugly. That's bad design right there. Bad design on my part. Alright. One final attempt with this ship on this launch pad. Even if this fails, we're still going to upgrade the launch pad. Because this sucks. Just failing over and over again on such a seemingly simple task. I think part of it is just the fact that I'm you know, recording and let's playing this. 
actually uh, you know, talking while I'm trying to accomplish complex maneuvers distracts me. Now I understand what all those other YouTubers are talking about when they say that it's a little different when you're recording. Making a Let's Play, it's just a little different than just playing the game all by yourself. All by your lonesome. It's easier to get distracted. Let's check this out. We're at 37 kilometers. And the target is approaching our termination point. Let's give it a fast forward. And we seem to be approaching a little faster than the target does. So we're going to have to correct in that direction. No, not prograde. Come on. Oh, thick atmosphere. Hard to cope with while maneuvering. Not great. Oh, God. Shit. Let's parachute. Who knows? Maybe we'll still get credit for it. Maybe it'll enter our area of influence while we're still drifting. Please, oh please. Because, yeah, we absolutely got the latitude right. Just not the longitude. Man, so hard. I've screwed it up so many times, you'd think I'd have it by now. Oh, and that one stupid parachute. I didn't fix that. How did I not fix that? Come on. <laughs> So foolish. <laughs> Just grab a little bit more airtime. Yeah. That's not looking too promising. I'm at least pleased with the uh, approximate closeness. That's definitely the best proximity we've had to it, so. Either way, I did say that this would be my last attempt with this rocket and that launch pad, so. Let us. Get our asses into the water and back to the space center. Get ourselves a new ship to work with. Maybe make this a little bit easier. Hell, a space plane would be a lot easier, probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and there goes the science junior. Every fucking time. That's, yeah, I, I absolutely can't live with that. I can't have that happen every time. It's pissing me off. Launch pad upgraded. Oh, that looks nice. That looks a lot nicer than the old one. Excellent. So, back down to a much smaller amount of money, but we can make a heavier ship now. Considerably heavier. Although we don't have any more parts to work with, but we're going to go ahead and do that next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this just horrible repeated failure over and over again. Uh, if you did, go ahead and leave a like. <laughs> if you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Infinite Spiral, and we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.